Have you ever wondered how some people manage to amass enormous wealth while others struggle to get by? Does that make you question whether there's some sort of money-making technique they are overlooking? In this video, I'll explain 10 things that wealthy people do that poor people don't, which might be the distinction between financial prosperity and financial ruin. Number 1. The wealthy adhere to the law of income. The wealthy assume that their income will be proportional to the value they add to the marketplace. In other words, if they play a critical role in creating a product that nearly everyone wants or requires, they should be compensated. As a consequence, because we live in a results-driven culture, wealthy people understand that output is the only statistic that matters. Poor individuals, on the other hand, believe that they should be compensated according to how much time they devote to a task. Hard work is, after all, a key to success. When value-added results are not consistently achieved, increasing input does not necessarily translate to higher output, which can be an indication of inefficiency. As a result, poor individuals frequently miss the mark by focusing primarily on inputs rather than outputs. Number 2. The wealthy are avid readers. The phrase goes, the more you learn, the more you earn. And reading is a common way for affluent people to achieve this. When questioned about the key to success, Warren Buffett, probably the world's greatest investor, replied by pointing to his stack of books and said, read 500 pages like this every day. That's how knowledge works. It works in the same way as compound interest. You can all do it, but I guarantee that few of you will. Warren Buffett is not alone among avid book lovers. Mark Cuban, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, reads for three hours every day. Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, reads 50 books per year, or nearly one per week. While Elon Musk, the inventor of Tesla, is a voracious reader who claims to have learned how to construct rockets by reading textbooks. Only 1 in 50 poor people admit to reading for self-improvement on a daily basis and, as a result, they lack the information to make decisions that would lead to financial prosperity. Number 3. The wealthy concentrate on possibilities rather than problems. A shoe salesman once found himself in a strange land, attempting to sell shoes to the locals. The only issue was that no one was wearing shoes, making the selling difficult. The salesman eventually gave up and left the area, frustrated. On his way out, he met another salesman. Don't bother entering this town, the first salesperson remarked. These folks don't even wear shoes. The second salesman's eyes widened as he replied, If no one has shoes, then I could sell a pair to everyone in town. How fortunate we are to stumble onto an untapped market. It's all a matter of perspective, as you can see. The impoverished often see obstacles and give up right away, whereas the wealthy see chances and enter fields that many others would never explore. Number 4. The wealthy associate with successful people who are positive. It is stated that you are the average of the five people with whom you spend the most time, and wealthy people understand that their social circle influences their success. This is why they spend time with people who like discussing success, opportunities, and good aspects of life. By doing so, these successful people increase their chances of improving their worldview by being in excellent company. Poor people, as is common with them, make very little attempt to integrate with people who will help them grow into more successful versions of themselves. Rather, it would be pushed down by negative forces, destroying any possibilities they had of improving their financial circumstances. Number 5. The wealthy are eager to market themselves and their worth. The majority of wealthy people have a skill or an idea that has led to their success. As a result, they aren't hesitant to tell others about their abilities. Sharing their best qualities is frequently done in order to distribute knowledge and enable others to flourish. The poor, on the other hand, are not exceptional in any one area, and being average is regrettably a precursor to financial mediocrity. 
Furthermore, the skills that these people do possess are rarely demonstrated. Lower income earners often underestimate the importance of selling themselves when striving to advance in their careers. Number 6. The wealthy magnify themselves against difficulties. Problems are seen as obstacles rather than opportunities by the poor. Rather than attempting to overcome adversity, these people give in to the pressure and return to their previous state. Rich people, on the other hand, thrive on fresh challenges. Rich people see the value in solving difficulties, which is the foundation of many financial success stories. Number 7. The wealthy believe in both, whereas the poor believe in either or. Long ago, an economist coined the term opportunity cost. Simply put, if you select one item above another, you are sacrificing something else. In other words, if I have $5 and buy an ice cream cone, I'm also giving up the pack of gum I wanted. This is also how the poor think. They have a certain amount of money and believe that they can only spend it on one thing at a time. Doesn't it seem reasonable? The wealthy, on the other hand, are concerned with how they can obtain both. The preceding example follows in the same manner. If you give a wealthy person $5, they will desire both ice cream and a $5 pack of gum. But instead of choosing between the two, they will choose both. To do this, the wealthy thinker may purchase a 24-pack of water for $5, stroll down the street and sell each bottle of water for 50 cents, totaling $12. They may now indulge in their ice cream and their gum while still having $2 left. The wealthy think in terms of both and not either or. Number 8. The wealthy concentrate on their net worth rather than their earnings. Poor individuals frequently discuss hourly salary, whereas wealthy people understand that an hourly wage is not nearly as essential as one's net worth. Even if you make a lot of money every hour, if you don't know how to keep it, you'll still be broke. Finally, the wealthy individual understands that having a huge net worth provides numerous chances and will generate additional riches in the future. Number 9. The wealthy are savvy with money. Many poor people practice the saying, penny smart, dollar stupid. This statement simply says that certain people are extremely picky about how they spend little amounts of money. When purchasing a cup of coffee, for example, but do not make sensible financial decisions such as investing or self-improvement in education. Rich people combine the two tactics by making disciplined penny decisions while investing huge sums of money in conferences paid mentorship, and other activities that promote lifelong learning and financial success. Number 10. The wealthy network and exercise regular volunteerism. Building relationships is important to the wealthy, whether it's for establishing friends or discovering future clients. Meeting new people is always a plus, and community involvement activities can help you do that. Nearly three quarters of the wealthy network and volunteer at least five hours every month. Only 1 in 10 people who are struggling financially are doing this. As a result, they are missing out on new connections. Not to mention the numerous new financial opportunities they could have made. Overall, these 10 characteristics represent just a few of the differences between the affluent and the impoverished. You'll be far better equipped to become wealthy by applying the rich person habits previously stated. Thanks for tuning in, and if you liked this video, Please click thumbs up and subscribe to get more informative content.